Hello there and welcome to this little side-by-side -side comparison of Keep and Infusionsoft. I'm Kenda MacDonald, I am the CEO and founder of Automation Ninjas and we are Infusionsoft and now Keep certified partners. So if you're in the know, you'll know that Infusionsoft have just changed their company name to keep and there is a little bit of confusion as to what is Infusionsoft and what is keep and what does this all mean? Well, on the right hand side of the screen here, you can see a slightly different view. This is keep. All right, so this application on the right hand side is the new Infusionsoft, which was launched last year in 2018. On the left hand side of the screen, if you're an existing Infusionsoft user, you will recognize that this is Infusionsoft. So in 2018, Infusionsoft, now Keep, did actually launch a brand new product. And that brand new product was a much more lighter version of Infusionsoft. It was a heavily simplified and much easier to utilize software program that still had most of the basic functionality. And that um, new Infusionsoft is now Keep. Um, whereas the old Infusionsoft that we all know and love so much, that is still being called Infusionsoft, but it is now Infusionsoft by Keep. And that's the basics between the two. The kind of biggest difference that you've got between these two programs is that Keep is much more simplified and it's much easier to use. Um, and Infusionsoft is still the like really powerful behemoth that really gives you all that functionality with your sales and marketing automation, which is awesome. Um, so I am going to be really honest while I'm going through the side by side comparison. I'm going to show you the different parts of the applications and what I like and what I don't like about each. So the first thing that you'll notice is that we're on the home page in Keep over here. And as you can see, it is sort of a lot simpler and it's kind of almost like a card layout. So you'll see this time and time again in Keep. Um, the, the basic layout and functionality of Keep is all card, all card based, very similar to things like Trello and mobile applications. So it's a lot more modern than on the left hand side here in Fusionsoft, which is kind of a little bit, little bit more old school. Um, if I actually make the screen a little bit bigger for Keep, what you'll notice is this is the dashboard that Keep has. Um, so Keep has a nice, really clear dashboard. It shows you straight away what leads you've got, um, what kind of quotes and invoices you've got out at the moment to get the job. Um, it shows you kind of how you're getting paid and shows you how you're staying connected with all of your broadcasts and all of that stuff. And it has the buttons to add a lead, create a quote, create an invoice or create an email broadcast all right there. And then it has your tasks, appointments and some information on the mobile app and then a little bit lower down the recent activity. Now, this is all great. It's much easier to understand. Um, but my frustration currently with it is that it is not customizable. And that is something that I really love about the Infusionsoft dashboard. So most of our Infusionsoft clients are power users, which means that they're doing a lot of things within Infusionsoft. Um, and therefore they have customized dashboards. And so you can add your own widgets, you can add your own stats, and every user that logs into Infusionsoft can have their own dashboard and their own starting point. I personally love that, but I can understand that it can be confusing for people, which is why Keep has simplified it and kept it nice and streamlined. So the next big change that you'll notice is under contacts, everything again, really streamlined. You can see your total contacts, you can see your contact lists, um, and you can also see the amount of people that you've brought in today. Now, just to kind of reassure you, this is all um, as you'll be able to see by Binky and Zach and Zena and so forth. This is all kind of, um, uh, it's sandbox accounts, so none of this data is live, it's not real. It's all duff data that we've put in here to test things and experiment with. Um, so one of the cool things about uh, Keep is the contactless functionality. So very similar to the way that things like MailChimp and so on and so forth have gone about putting uh, together lists. You can do that in Infusionsoft as well, but the good thing is that's not, uh, sorry, in Keep as well, but the good thing is that is not the be all and end all of it. Um, so you don't just have your various different segmented lists. You create that still in the same way by clicking on create list and kind of segmenting with tags and all that good stuff, um, but everything is still centrally stored so you still get that powerful functionality of being able to segment and filter your data very similar to how we have in Infusionsoft currently. 
What I really like about Keep though, is how they have streamlined all of the various different views. So when you click into a contact, you'll notice that kind of card based stuff again. Um, so you'll be able to see a very easy and simple to understand contact record. Um, so you've got the activity that they've been up to, you've got their details, you've got their email, any appointment information, any monetary information. And then here you have their tasks, any notes, any campaigns they're in, any files they have on their record and any tags they have on their contact record. Um, so it is a lot simpler, it is a lot smoother and it's a lot more easy to understand, but I do feel there's a bit of loss of functionality. Um, so let's compare that to the process of looking at contacts in Infusionsoft. Can be a bit of a chore, even just getting to the right kind of contacts. Sometimes you have to do a new search. Um, and if you wanted to see what they are calling lists in Keep, um, you'd have to do some kind of safe search and then find the information there. But if we go into a contact record inside Infusionsoft, you'll see that it is massively data rich. All the information is there. You've got all of your custom fields along the top, and then you've got a second row of tabs because there's that much information. Um, so a lot of people do find that Infusionsoft's contact records are overwhelming. They find it difficult to find the information that they're looking for in Infusionsoft, and they kind of don't really understand a lot of the things. So I can understand why this has been streamlined. My preference is still the, the Infusionsoft way of doing things just because I need that data rich environment to do my job properly. Um, now, if we have a look at tasks and appointments, this is another thing that has been massively streamlined. And this is where you start to see the fact that Keep is being created specifically to be an organizational tool for service based companies. So service based small businesses and um, Keep has said that the new Keep software is very specifically to help organize um, service-based small businesses to help them get happier customers. And you start to see that with things like the tasks. If we take a look at the task, you can see it's really, really simple and straightforward, tells you what you need to do, when it's due, and gives you the contact. Um, and if you click on the name, that card pops up again. It doesn't take you away from where you are, which is great. So it keeps it all nice and straightforward. And then it does have some some nice little things that kind of keep you keep you keep you going keep you motivated whereas in infusionsoft if you do want to see your tasks you can either see that per contact record on tasks over here or you would go um to your my day and in the my day you'd be able to see your tasks and appointments as well as the opportunities um so it's a lot kind of more complex to get to that information um, but I do find that it is much more, um, again, data rich and information rich, which is something that I prefer, but I understand that not everyone prefers that. Some people can find that overwhelming. Then the appointments. Now, this is something that Keep has really nailed. The appointments in Keep are rad. And the reason this is so cool simply because of the fact that it has appointment automation built into it as native. You don't need a third party plugin. And I really, really think this is phenomenal. So you would kind of go into your calendar and you would say, these are the blocks that I have for people to book appointments in. And you'd give them a link and they could go and book an appointment. Boom, no back and forth, no wasting time. Um, the other really cool thing is it integrates directly with your Google Calendar, which I, I can't stress how cool that is um, because you can't currently do that natively in Infusionsoft. So in Infusionsoft, you'd use a third party plugin like something like um, Schedule Once or Appointment Call. Um, and those two give you the functionality of utilizing your Google Calendar. But they also give you some other cooler stuff. Like when an appointment is booked, you can kick off automation. So you can kick off various different things in campaigns and do some really cool things. So I do find that the calendar in Infusionsoft by itself is totally useless unless you're integrating it with your Outlook calendar or your Google calendar through something like appointment core and schedule once. But then you have the functionality of being able to trigger automation, which you currently can't really do in Keep. Um, but it is cool that this is all native. And for most businesses, if you're looking for something simple and out of the box, Keep is going to do that when it comes to appointments. It's going to allow you to manage your appointments nicely all in the same place. And then something that I really feel that Keep has absolutely nailed is the pipeline. Is the pipeline. The pipeline. Um, so the pipeline um, in Keep is really straightforward. And doesn't it look like Trello? It is so, so easy. So if we want to, if we want to add a new deal, all we need to do is type what that what the name of that deal is. We can say new deal here. 
And then if we want to add a few more details, we just click on add more. You would say this deal is worth $10 million or whatever that is. And then you'd add a note and you would say, I'm having fun because I'm sad. All right. So there we go. You've got your new deal set up and that's it. Boom. Done. So there's not a lot of faff around. And then let's say you actually get that person qualified and you just drag and drop it and you move it along. That is really cool. And it is really easy to understand where you are within your sales pipeline. And it just takes all of the frustration out. And if we have a look, for instance, if we take a look at this new deal right now, we can see that this kind of new deal we can see everything that's just happened, what I've just done. We can send an email to that person just like that. So you choose the recipient and you can send that deal. Um, you can add some notes to that contact record. There are so many things that you can do and they've made this so much easier. Whereas in Infusionsoft, you can kind of come into my day and you can manage your opportunities in the my day section. But what Infusionsoft does exceptionally well that keep doesn't do and is trigger off campaign automation from moving opportunities through various different stages. And that is something that is kind of sorely missed in Keep currently um, that may very well be updated, but I still prefer the functionality. I would love to see the pipeline as it is going to Infusionsoft. Infusionsoft has said that it is continuing to, or Keep has said that it is continuing to develop Infusionsoft. In fact, it is given Infusionsoft twice the development team to make sure that everything that is currently in Keep will be in Infusionsoft, which is music to my ears because I am desperate for the pipeline functionality inside the, the main Infusionsoft. It is so much simpler and so much easier to utilize. Um, so that's kind of the difference between those. And then when we have a look at the money, this again, super, super streamlined. One of the big complaints about Infusionsoft is that the whole e-commerce section is really complicated. So you want to look at orders, you want to look at kind of, you know, your various different products, the invoices and quotes that you've gone out, you kind of have to go into e-commerce setup, you have to muck a little bit, but the power and the functionality that you get from the e-commerce section and from the quoting section and from being able to kind of do things in campaigns is phenomenal. And that is lost a little bit in Keep, but look how easy it is. Okay, so you've got your invoices and your quotes. You can create a new invoice. You can see everything that's currently going on. And it's super, super clear in Keep. That is not so clear in Infusionsoft, but again, it's got the payoff of that kind of power and functionality. Broadcasts, not very different um, between Keep and Infusionsoft. Um, the main difference between the broadcasts in Keep is simply the fact that everything is all in one place. Um, so it's really easy to see what you've sent, what, what, what kind of drafts you've got going. And it's also really easy to just create everything all from one area. Whereas in Infusionsoft, that's kind of, you know, you, you, can, you send a broadcast here, but then you've also got your email broadcast if you want to see all of the data and you've got some reports that you need to, to pull up. Um, and the functionality isn't actually that different between Infusionsoft and Keep. The only difference is that Keep has kind of got it all in one place, which is kind of cool. Um, then the campaigns. Now, again, you see all of this kind of card stuff that you've been seeing everywhere. So it's much more modern, much easier to understand. Um, but the really cool thing about Keep is that it still has the visual campaign builder. So the Infusionsoft visual campaign builder is the same, except that it has the loss of some goals. Um, so if we kind of go and have a look um, within a campaign inside Keep, what you'll see is that it is the same campaign builder when it loads. Um, it's the same campaign builder. You're still using the goals and the sequences. It's still massively visual and that is awesome. What we have lost is things like internal forms um, and you've also lost things like um, adding a note to a contact record. So there are some things that you've lost from here. And then also within the sequences, there is some sequence functionality, some processes and bits of communications that have been lost as well. Um, some things are not a sad thing. Like for instance, being able to send a fax, no one sends faxes anymore. Um, so there's not really too much of a problem with that, but it is the same kind of campaign builder that made Infusions of such a powerhouse, which means that Keep still has that powerhouse functionality. Um, the only frustration is losing some of those goals. And so you're gonna have to find slightly different ways to do things. Personally, I think it's a mistake taking out the, um, 
internal form functionality because a lot of businesses really rely on that internal form functionality. Um, and until then, any business that I know that might use internal forms, I will not be recommending Keep to. However, if you don't need internal forms, then Keep's awesome, right? Um, but all pretty much, all pretty much the same in between the two applications. You've just got that simplicity versus power payoff. Um, and then if we take a look at the last but not least section that is of difference in Keep, and that is the reporting section. So really, really streamlined, kind of, again, all card based, and you can have a look at all these various different things. All the reports are in one place. You have far fewer reports though, whereas in Infusionsoft, each different section of the application has its own reporting section. Um, and if you're if you're a power user, that payoff might be um, kind of too much and you'll want to stick with Infusionsoft. But if you're not a power user and you're looking for something that is going to kind of be able to get you going out of the gates, then, then Keep is a really good option. If you have ever been really confused by Infusionsoft and put off by its kind of complexity um, and felt like you needed a few more boundaries and, and needed things to be a little bit easier and then Infusionsoft was a little bit too powerful for what you needed, then Keep is really worth taking a look at. Seriously, take a look at Keep, have a look at the functionality that it has available. I think it's a phenomenal piece of kit. It really is an Infusionsoft light. Um, and I think that that has been sorely needed for some time. Um, my playground is still going to be in, in standard Infusionsoft, so Infusionsoft by Keep. That is still my choice and my preference, um, just because it allows me to do my job um, and provides me with the power that I need to provide to my clients. Um, so that is a side by side of the two systems. You can see how they look different and what the differences and what the um, what the same things are as well. So I'd love to know what you thought about this video. I'd also love to know if you've got any questions and concerns. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about uh, why the name Keep came about um, and why uh, Keep then Infusionsoft, the company, has gone um, for this massive brand change, you can check out below the video. There's a little bit more information as to what's different, but there's also information in there as to exactly um, why they made these changes. And there's a little bit of story in there as well. So check those out, um, shoot, uh, shoot us a message if you've got any questions and any queries at all. We'd love to know what you're thinking about all of this. Until we speak next time, go forth and be epic. Take care now.